Welcome to part 6 of this industrial building blender tutorial series. If you haven't seen the previous parts, then definitely check out the tutorial playlist linked in the description. So in this part, we're going to be downloading some grass models and we're going to be using geometry nodes to place the grass in these little dirt beds. And if you'd like to help support the channel, you can purchase the finished tutorial files on my Gumroad store and my Patreon page, the links are in the description. And then one more thing before we start with this part, I wanted to let you know about my sci-fi construction robot blender tutorial series. So this is a paid course which I'm selling on the Blender Market and my Gumroad store. You can also get access to it on my Patreon page and it's an 11 part tutorial series and throughout the tutorial series I'll show you step by step in real time how to create this sci-fi construction robot. So the course covers the entire process including modeling the robot, doing the lighting and the materials, and mechanically rigging the robot and then we'll be doing an animation and animating the robot to create this finished robot animation. So if you'd like to check out the course, I will have the links in the description, and purchasing is also a great way to help support this channel. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be downloading some free grass models from polyhaven.com. However, if you want to learn how to create your own grass models by just using textures, then I have a two-part tutorial series on how to create a grassy field. So if you want to check out that tutorial, I'll have a link to it in the description. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to be downloading some free grass models from polyhaven.com and we'll use that to create the grass in the scene. So you can download the grass models with the links in the description. It's the same grass models that I mentioned at the beginning of the tutorial series. Now before we actually add the grass models, I'm going to go back to the solid view and what I actually want to do is make the grass beds kind of pop out of the mesh. So basically right here around the sidewalk where the dirt beds are, we're going to have those pop out. So we're going to be using sculpt mode and we're just going to sculpt it just a little bit to kind of pop them out. And you don't have to use a drawing tablet for the sculpting. I'm just going to be using my mouse for it. So it's going to be really easy. So we'll select the dirt beds and we'll go into edit mode and we first need to add more geometry so that we can sculpt it. So I'm going to press Control R to add a loop cut and I'm going to scroll out my mouse wheel until the loop cuts make about even squares and I'll left click and right click so they stay where they are. Then I can select everything and I'll use the object context menu and we're going to subdivide it and then right behind me on the subdivide settings let's turn this up really big to maybe like a 40 or maybe even to like a hundred and then after I I've subdivided it to 100. I think I just want to subdivide it a few more times. So I'll use the object context menu and subdivide it again. That's pretty good. Maybe I'll just do it one more time. So subdivide it again. So it's pretty detailed. Now, if I go into the camera view, you can see we have a lot of extra geometry that we don't actually need that the camera can't see. So what I can do is go into wireframe view and I can go into edit mode and I'm going to go to the vertex select. I'm going to hit the C for the circle select and I'm going to click and drag and just circle select all of these vertices here that we don't need. So just select all these because we don't need all this extra geometry in the scene. Let's also use the circle select and right here where the building is, we're going to circle select all of that. Let's go into wireframe view again and we're just going to use the circle select. We're just going to select all this extra geometry that we don't need. We'll go into the camera view and you can see the camera can't see most of that. So what I'll do is for this, if I'm in the wireframe view, I can just use the box select. So hit the B for the box select. Just box select all those vertices there and also that there. And we can also box select that part there. So if we go into the camera view now, you can see we have all that extra geometry that the camera can't see. So we're just going to delete the vertices. So that's going to make the scene much less dense. So now let's click here to go to Blender's sculpt mode and because the object was selected that will take us into sculpt mode of the object. So what I'm going to do is click here to go to the clay strips brush and I'm going to zoom into this first part here and I can press the F key to make my brush bigger and then I can just click and drag and I'm just going to pop out those dirt beds. Now that's a bit too strong so let's turn the strength of the brush down. Now I can just go along here and just kind of pop out the dirt beds going back and forth and going along the side here. All right and then you can also hold down the control key and click right here on the side to kind of push it back in. So just like that, push that part back in there. And then let's also do that over here. So popping this out here and we are going to smooth it out later. So if it looks a bit rough, we are going to be smoothing out later. So not to worry about that. Let's just go along here like that, kind of pop that out. Let's hold down the control key and push that in. So now I can hold down the shift key and I can sculpt along here. And the shift key is automatically going to go to the smooth brush. And I can just go along here holding down the shift key and just smooth that all out. And then hold down the control key again. And we're going to push that back in there. All right. And then hold down the shift key and smooth that out there. All right. So now you can see the flower beds are just popping out a little bit. They're just popping out of the mesh and they're a little bit larger. They're kind of a little bit bigger than the sidewalk. 
Let's go along here and add a bit more into the very center there. So it's popping out a bit more and then just hold down the shift key and smooth that all out. And let's go back over here. We'll also use the shift key and we're just going to smooth that all out there. All right. And then if there's any parts where the dirt is coming out into the sidewalk, just hold down the control key and sculpt that back in and then just smooth that out. All right. Let's do the same thing right over here. So we're just going to pop this out a little bit. All right. Pop that out. Hold down the shift key and then smooth that out there. Also, we need to push that part back in and then smooth that out. And let's go over here to the very end here. So this part way in the background, let's just pop out all this dirt here because we're going to be adding grass here. So go along there, kind of pop that out. Make it kind of lumpy and bumpy and then hold down the shift key. We're going to go along here and just smooth the entire thing out a bit. Then we'll go here and hold down the control key and go along here and kind of push this back in. Might need to zoom in a little bit more. Push that all in there and then hold down the shift key and smooth that out there. We're just making it look kind of random because dirt is going to be kind of random and bumpy. So I'm not too concerned with it looking like super smooth. If it's a little bit rough there, that's totally fine. And of course the grass is going to cover it, but it really does add a lot to the scene just to kind of make the dirt popping up higher than the sidewalk. I think it does make the scene look more realistic. All right, so that's it. So we can go back over here to the layout and let's save the project again. So now we need to add in the grass. So I'm just going to go into the folder where I have all of my textures. And here is the grass that I downloaded. So it's the grass medium 01 again from Polyhaven. So I extracted the zip file. I'm going to go into the folder. Here's the zip file, but here's the folder that I extracted. So I'm going to go inside this folder and then here's the grass file. So I'm going to open this up. So inside this blender file, if I go to the outliner, you can see there's a few different groups of grass. So I'm first going to select this sphere here and I'm just going to delete it. That's just kind of a preview to preview the grass. If I turn on this one here, you can see this one is a bit lower poly. Let me just make this smaller, close the side panel so you can kind of see what it's doing. So this one is kind of a bit lower poly. It's kind of using a transparency there. So let's close this one. If we turn on this one here, you can see it's kind of doing the same thing. But if I turn on the first one here, this is the one that I want to use. However, I don't want to use these ones here, these models, because they're like really tall and I just find they don't look very good in my scene. So we're just going to use this one here. So let's select this collection right here and we're going to right click on it and then we're going to click on delete hierarchy and then right click on this one here and we're also going to delete hierarchy and that way by deleting the hierarchy it's going to delete all the objects that were in that collection as well as deleting the collection and also this grass medium here let's just drag it and drop it into the scene collection and then this collection here we can also just right click and delete that so now we just have this grass collection and we can actually double click on this to rename it and i'll just rename it to grass so now we want to delete these three ones here because these are really tall and they just don't look very good for the scene. So I'm going to delete them. And also these little tiny bits of grass, I don't want those because they're not really grass clumps. So I'm going to delete those ones there. So I'm just going to be using these grass clumps here. So I'll press Control S to save the Blender file and then we can close this Blender file. So now back in our original scene, we can append in the data of the grass. So let's click on File and we'll click on Append. So I'm now going to go to the textures folder where I have all the textures and the resources. I'm going to go into the grass medium folder, go in here, and then we can double click on this to go inside the blender file. Then we're going to go to collection. So we'll go to collection and here's the grass collection and we'll click on append. So now if I open up the outliner here, let's open up the buildings. You can see here's the grass collection. So I'm going to drag it and drop it here into the scene collection. So if we minimize the buildings, now we just have the grass with the grass models. So now we can use geometry nodes to place the grass models in the scene. Let's actually zoom out here and try to find the grass models. So if I just click on it to select it, if I zoom into it, here's all the grass models. Models. So what I'll do is hold down the shift key and select all the grass models in the outliner. And I'm just going to move them over here and let's move them way over here, away from the scene and just bring it down here. Just so they're down here in the corner. So if we need to, we can access them. They're a bit easier to access, but I can close the grass. And then what we can actually do is just uncheck the grass models to hide them from the view. So they won't actually show up in the render. So now we can select the dirt object and we're going to click here to go to the geometry nodes workspace. So I have the geometry nodes editor right over here and then the 3D viewport right here. So let's click on new to add a new material. We can start to create the geometry node setup for the grass. So we're going to start by searching for the distribute points on faces node. Let's drop this here. And then we're also going to search for the instance on points node and drop this here. Now you can see that dirt is gone. That's because we need to add the join geometry. We'll put the join geometry here after the instance on points. And the geometry is going to go up to the join geometry. 
So it's adding back the original geometry. So now we can search for the collection info. So add the collection info and on the collection type, we're going to add the grass and we can put the grass instance into the instance on points. And then we need to turn on the separate children. We also need to turn on the reset children and the pick instance. And now if I zoom in here, you can see all the grass there is just placed randomly along the dirt. So I'm just going to bring the collection info right here above the distribute points on faces. And let's select these nodes and bring them back so I have a bit more space. So now here on the distribute points on faces, I want to take the random and I want to turn it to Poisson disk instead. And that way we have the distance min and the distance max. So on the distance min, I'm going to turn this to a 0.05 and that way there's going to be a little bit of distance in between each of the grass clumps so they have more space in between them so they won't overlap quite as much and then the density max i'm going to turn this up really big to like 100. so now what i want to do is i just want to paint right here where the dirt beds are so i'm going to be using weight painting just to paint where that is so that way the grass is only going to be in the dirt beds but it won't be overlapping where the sidewalk is so to do this, we're going to select the dirt and we're going to click an object node and we're going to go to weight painting. And then I'll make my brush a bit bigger by pressing the F key and I can start to paint along here. Now the grass isn't updating, so what we need to do is take the density factor and we'll put it into this extra socket right here. That way on the side panel, if you go to the modifiers, you can click on this button here, which is the input attribute toggle. You can now click on the density factor and we're going to choose the point group and that is the flute. So choose that one there. Now if I start to paint here with the weight painting, you can see the grass is only showing up where we're painting. Now it's a little bit laggy in the scene as we're painting. So what I'm going to do is just click on this monitor icon on the geometry nodes modifier just to hide the grass for now. So now we can paint much faster. So I'm going to press control spacebar with my mouse in the 3D viewport to make it full screen. And I'll start by going to top view and I can now just go along here and I'm just going to paint just where the grass is. So we'll paint over here, paint over there. You can also go into the camera view and you can see actually right there, the grass isn't really showing up there, but I might adjust the camera slightly. So what I'm going to do is go to top view again, or kind of go over here and let's just paint all along here on the side of the building and we'll paint that right over there. All right, go into the camera view and we need to paint a little bit more over there and right back here. Let's just paint along there just so that there's grass going through the rest of the scene towards the end there. All right, so that's pretty good. Let's now go over here to this grass bed and we're just going to paint along. We'll start by just painting along the outline or the edge so that there's going to be grass all along here. And then we'll just fill in the center point. We can also make our brush really small and then just go in here and kind of add more detailed areas. Also right here, let's fill this in over here. And then right here underneath the stairs, we're also going to fill this in underneath the stairs because grass would still grow there. Maybe not quite as much grass because it's kind of darker. Maybe there'd be like less sunlight, but this is still going to be the dirt bed. So there would be some grass. And then we'll go over here to the next dirt bed and we'll paint this in as well. And then finally, we're going to go way over here. And for this last part here, we're going to start to paint this in. So let me just go to the camera view real quick. And the camera can see most of this entire area. So I am just going to paint in the entire thing. We'll paint along here, paint over here. All right, kind of fill that in. So now that it's pretty much all filled in, let's click on back to previous. And now what I can do is click on this monitor icon here just to see the grass. So now I want to zoom in here and I just want to refine it. Because if I zoom in here, you can see some of the grass is kind of growing onto the sidewalk and I don't want that. So what I can do is click on the draw here, click on this button here, and we're going to change it to subtract instead. This way, when I start to paint, now it's going to get rid of color instead of adding color. So we can just fix anything that we need to because I don't want the grass growing on on the sidewalk obviously so we're gonna paint along here all right get rid of that there also this here let's just paint along here to get rid of any color that we accidentally added that went too far and the same thing over here on this side and along this front one all right and then the same thing here for the other flower beds all right let's go into the camera view see how that is looking all right so i'm going to click on weight painting and go back to object mode let's go into the rendered viewport mode just to see how the grass is looking so we'll wait for this to load up and that is really looking quite nice now to make the grass look a lot more realistic, I'm going to add a random scale and a random rotation to each one of the grass clumps. So to do this, we're going to search for the random value node. 
random value, and I'm gonna duplicate this so there are two random values. So first let's do the rotation. So I can take this random value here, and I'm gonna put that into the rotation here, the instance on points. Now the problem with this is that it's gonna rotate it all around on all axes, but I just want the grass to be rotated on the Z axis. So we're gonna click on the float here, and we're gonna change it to vector instead, and then we need to plug the value back up here to the rotation. So now we have a minimum value and a maximum value, but these are broken up into the X, Y, and Z value. So I'm going to turn all of them to zero, but then the bottom one here, that is going to be the Z, so it's just going to rotate them around on the Z axis. So if I click on this value, I can type in TAU for tau. That is a math equation which is going to make this number, and it's going to make sure that it's rotating all the way around by 360 degrees, so it is quite random. Or if you wanted to, you could turn this up to like a giant number of a thousand. That's fine as well. So then let's take the second random value, and we're going to put this into the scale, so that each one is going to randomly have a different scale. So you can see now there's some of them which are really tiny because the minimum is zero and then some other ones which are kind of large. So I'm going to turn the minimum value to like 8.8 .8, and then for the maximum value I'm going to turn this to a 1.6. So let's take a look at that, see how that is looking. I think the maximum values might even be a little bit too big, so maybe turn that down to like a 1.4, and maybe the minimum values turn that down to like a 0.7. And also if you wanna add more grass, you can turn up the density max. So instead of 100, I might turn it up to like 130, so there's a little bit more grass. And there we go, so now we have some nice grass placed all around those dirt beds. So I'll go back here to the layout, let's go into the camera view, I'll press Control S to save this again, and this is all wrap it up for this part of the tutorial series. So in the next part, in part seven, we're gonna be modeling a bunch more small objects, like the chairs, which are gonna be on the balcony. We're also gonna be adding some lights on the buildings, and we'll also add some gutters and some window blinds along the windows. So when the next part is released, it'll be right up there on the end screen, and the link will be in the description. And if you'd like to help support this channel and purchase the project files, you can get that on my Gumroad store and Patreon page. The links are in the description and i really do appreciate all of your support so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next part